There's one right there. Right out on this end again. But you know what? I got up shallow again. You know, we're to a point now where the wind is making nothing easy. Won't surprise me at all if this is a smallmouth. Boy, I don't know. This might be a walleye that's already, that's sliding up because of the wind coming up. Let's see here. Maybe it is. It's definitely got some giddy up in him. I'll tell you that. I'm gonna slow down as much as I can here. Sure it is. That's a walleye that's worked his way up to the top. He's on the back hook. I pulled this fish now out of 10 feet. Just give you an idea what the wind will do. He's right on the edge, and this is great because this is gonna show you what's going on. Wait till you see this, just a nice eater sized fish. But in the crankbait is some weeds along with that walleye in the net. Here's what's going on there. A little bit of weeds growing on the edge of that hump, pulling this fish in there. Wind starts blowing, there's bait in there. Every single reason in the world for this walleye to get up there was there. And there he is, that quick. Just goes to show you that when you get into this scenario, these fish, they're just going where the food is. But these fish are up where they've got these weeds and they're coming up on that hump based on, look at that, we'll get these weeds off them. But they're coming up on this hump because there's food up there. And fish like that, I mean, there's, there's no reason for them to not come up here. I wanna show you what I'm using. This is a cotton cordell minnow. We created it in a little bit shorter size, okay? But then what we've also done is there's two different diving depths. You're gonna be able to make this thing go six to eight on the shallow bait, and then you're also gonna be able to make it go 12 to 14 on the deep one. I'm fishing the deep one today, and I'm just running back 100, 115 feet of line, just kind of varying it based on where I'm at in the system. But the biggest thing about this bait is actually in the bill, okay? This minnow's got two little dimples up in this bill. And what those dimples do is add some of that extra side to side action. And it's still got that little bit of roll. It's just a tantalizing bait. This is an awesome minnow. You can find this at all your retailers. And I'll tell you what, it's, it's quickly become one of my favorite minnows just because that added action that you get in that dimple, but it's a year round bait because of the size.